Hey, what's up, hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you emulators on the new iPhone SE. For those that don't know, the iPhone SE is a special edition iPhone that was recently released in a 4-inch screen with the body very similar to the iPhone 5 and 5S. However, with its hardware being very similar to the iPhone 6S, only missing a few features like force touch, the front-facing camera's uh, megapixels, and a little other things here and there. Nevertheless, I always like to make a video showcasing emulators on the newest Apple devices when they come out, so I had to get this phone, number one, because I've always been a fan of the 4 inch screen in my opinion. I don't have big hands, like clearly you can see that in the video, and it just fits my hand much better. I originally got the iPhone 6 and 6S to just try out the new size of the screen, but since switching to the iPhone SE, I've been really enjoying this phone. Nevertheless, the topic of this video is emulators on this new device, and like I mentioned, its hardware is very similar to the iPhone 6S. Thus, pretty much every emulator runs almost the same on the iPhone SE as it does on the iPhone 6S, which means that pretty much everything runs amazing with the exception of PlayStation Portable games and PlayStation 1 games because unfortunately, the emulator I was using Happy Chick does not run those consoles at the best possible way. However, I know that if I was jailbroken, I could get applications like PPSS, PP, and RetroArch which allow me to play these consoles at their fullest potential. Nevertheless, Happy Chick is still a good emulator, don't get me wrong, I really like the emulator and if you guys do not have it, I highly recommend that you do get it because it works awesome without a jailbreak for a computer as you've seen with me on the screen playing on my iPhone SE. But with all that being said, overall emulators on the iPhone SE are great, of course the smaller screen doesn't really help when you're gaming. but if you're a person like me that doesn't mind, then it's completely fine. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. As well as, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos because I upload videos every week. However, I know I've been slacking lately on the uploads. I haven't uploaded a great tutorial in a while, but... I am working on it. For those of you that follow me on Snapchat, you know that I've started going to school again. Things have been pretty crazy and all of that stuff. But if you're not following me on Snapchat, I highly recommend you do. My snap code is on the screen now, as well as my username, which is Operation Eldroid, not iDroid, because I think I made the account and I forgot the password. So now I'm Operation Eldroid on Snapchat. But anyways, I digress way too far. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation.